I am Sheikh Mahbub Basha. Welcome to my channel. Happy learning. Hi students, welcome. This is ninth class, chapter two, loss of motion. Welcome to period four. Today we will start with the Atwood's machine. The Atwood machine. is designed by atwood and it is used to verify newton's laws of motion atwood machine basically consists of a pulley a string and two blocks the pulley is suspended from a rigid support a string is carried over this pulley and two blocks of different masses are connected to the ends of this string because of the difference in the masses if you release the system they start moving with an acceleration a let the two blocks are of masses capital m and small m the acceleration of the system can be taken as a the weights of the blocks are mg downward and another mg is also downward the tension in the string is upward at the block of mass capital m and also at the block of mass small m and the string the tension in the string acts along the string now let us write the equations for these blocks capital m and small m one after the other let us derive expression for the acceleration of this blocks and the tension in the string okay let us start if capital m is greater than small m then the system moves with an acceleration a point 1 as capital m is moving downwards its weight mg will be greater than the tension in the string mg is greater than t then the resultant force is equal to mg minus t greater force minus smaller force since mg is greater than t we are writing mg minus t now but from second law of motion resultant force is equal to ma resultant force is equal to ma as this is of block mass capital m we have to write capital m into small a therefore ma is equal to mg minus t ma is equal to mg minus t let it be equation number 1 point 2 now consider the case of other block of mass small m as small m is moving upwards the tension in the string t will be greater than the weight of the block mg t is greater than mg resultant to force is equal to t minus mg but from second law resultant force is equal to ma therefore we can write ma is equal to t minus mg in place of resultant force ma is written that is equal to t minus mg let it be equation number 2 adding equation 1 and equation 
adding equation 1 and equation 2. Let us first write the equation number 1 and then equation number 2, one under the other. Equation 1 is MA is equal to MG minus T. And the second equation is MA is equal to T minus MG. Now let us add. Adding the LHS sides. MA plus MA is equal to on the right hand side from equation 1 we got mg minus t plus from equation 2 we got t minus mg right now let us simplify this we can cancel this minus t and plus t minus t and plus t can be cancelled then you are left with the ma plus ma on the LHS side is equal to mg minus mg on the right hand side. Let us uh, take uh, common, common, a is taken common, small a is taken common on the LHS side. You get uh, m plus m into a is equal to m minus m into g. Taking small g common in the RHS side, you get m minus m into g. Then we can write A is equal to M minus M into G in the numerator whole divided by M plus M in the denominator. Let it be equation number 3. And this is the expression for acceleration of the system. That is the acceleration of the block capital M or the block cap small m. Okay. Right. Now, substituting the value of A, acceleration A, in equation 1. First, let us write the equation 1. MA is equal to MG minus T. Write M as it is. And in place of A, first write down flower brackets. Substitute the value of A that you have got in equation 3. M minus M into G by M plus M is equal to on the right hand side just to write as it is mg minus t now the denominator in the lhs side can be taken to the rhs so we get m into m minus m into g is equal to mg minus t into m plus m mg minus t into m plus m and we can write this equation as m minus m into g capital m and small g are multiplied is equal to mg into m plus m minus t into m plus m i have splitted the first bracket on the rhs side so mg into m plus m minus t into m plus m now m into mg becomes m square g minus m m g capital m small m into small g is equal to m square g plus m m g minus t into m plus m let it be as it is t into m plus m now m square g and m square g can be cancelled. The last term on RHS minus of t into m plus m is now taken to the LHS side. Then write this uh, t into m plus m on the LHS is equal to m m g already on the RHS plus 1 m m n g taken from LHS to RHS mmg plus mmg so the minus mmg from lhs taken to rhs becomes plus mmg now t into m plus m is equal to 2 mmg and finally t is equal to 2 mmg by 
टू इंटू कैपिटल एम इंटू स्मॉल एम इंटू स्मॉल जी होल डिवाइड बाई कैपिटल एम प्लस स्मॉल एम कैपिटल एम प्लस स्मॉल एम दिस इज इक्वेशन नंबर फोर एंड दिस इज द एक्सप्रेशन फॉर टेंशन इन द स्ट्रिंग ऑफ द एडवर्ड्स मशीन so we got the expression for acceleration of the blocks and tension in the string of the atwood machine okay okay students this is all for now tomorrow we will discuss newton's third law with few examples till then take care thank you